So Brad, we know that it's important to customize when applying for a job. I hear that you need to customize per job, like word by word. But in your experience, we are in already in 2024. Is there any top three tips that you think that job seekers should use when applying for jobs, especially to beat ATS, especially a lot of times our people are using, you know, chat GDP these days to customize. So what are your takes? Mm, yeah. I think um, in terms of resumes, yes, we have so many available tools now that we didn't have just even two or three years ago. Yeah. Um, AI has really uh, changed the game in, in terms of uh, allowing job seekers to prepare well. And um, I think one of the things that I, I certainly will say on that end of things is that AI is an incredible assistant, but it is not the uh, end all be all. <laughs> and it's like um, a first draft. Don't exactly, copy exactly, exactly. But it it is incredible to be able to uh, to be able to utilize and modify based on how you uh, determine the best way to present yourself, and it um, can certainly help revamp. Uh, you know, information and, and take it to a different level. Um, I think in terms of uh, general resume tips that I would kind of give anybody with respect to that as well would be um, a, a common mistake, even though I think people understand the importance of it, particularly for uh, the, the job seekers that I come across in that 18 to 30 year old bracket, it is very, very easy to get into the trap of telling an employer what you did, but not why it mattered and how it ended up. And so I think people tend to focus a lot on tasks, duties, and responsibilities, yeah. and then they lose the impact. Yeah, they, the results. They, yeah. Their results, exactly. And so always be thinking of and so part of that is is actually just the preparation that happens beforehand before yeah. you even put a resume together you should always be tracking everything that you do that creates a a tangible mm -hmm. impact for other people either qualitative or quantitative it, it has to you know you need to create a trail of impact yes and so I think that that's probably the the biggest right there is just it results and impact and and making sure that as much as possible, it's it's woven into everything that you did, and um, and it's communicated right from the get go. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that I think is uh, incredibly impactful is really thinking about the language that you use in terms of action verbs. Mm -hmm. um, so, with respect to the positions that people are applying for, I think it's really really important to understand. What are the skills that yeah. this potential employer is looking for? What are the hard skills? What are the soft skills? And then what are the action verbs that I can associate mm -hmm. with those skills? You know, <laughs> if I'm if I'm really looking for someone with leadership experience or someone who takes initiative, you know, then I want to be using those hard, um, really, really cemented action verbs that showcase those skills, you know, mm -hmm. facilitated, developed, spearheaded, initiated, all of those things that that can really um, showcase the, mm -hmm. the types of skills and to not uh, to not leave those things up to chance. And um, do, you, do you recommend to use the same keyword so that they can crack or pass the ATS system or is there anything else? No, I think that that's uh, still a very, very good protocol. I think it's so important that that your your um, that your communication is is matching what the job description requires. Um, you know, however, one of the things that does tend to get people into trouble sometimes is yes. is what we call keyword stuffing, where mm -hmm. we're where we're taking all of that information from the job description, we're putting it together as though it makes sense. Yeah. A and, and it has to make sense. So if we're just, you know, throwing in all of these words that we think are important within like that professional summary section, yeah. um, right in the top. And it's, 
and it's v clear as day what the mm -hmm. individual is doing. I'm actually, I'm actually working with a client right now who, <laughs> you know, is, is falling into that where it was all of these subjective fluffy terms, you know, detail oriented results, driven mm -hmm. impact focus, all of these, you know, fluff and stuff terms. Yes, they're on the job description, but somebody's going to read right through that. And somebody's going to say, well, you're not telling me anything. You're yeah. not giving any substance. Yeah. So, so Tell me results. Yes. So the keywords need to be there. Absolutely. But they need to make sense and they need to be directly yeah. correlated to, you know, something that show, showcases impact. Yeah. Those are great tips, Brad. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, you can leave them below. So tune in next time for another great question with Brad. Yeah.